Hello, my name is Robert Dreyfus. I'm age 64, just had my birthday a few days ago, and I play tennis every day. Tennis is my passion. I play seven days a week, sometimes three hours a day. I take a clinic every week at the club here in town, and I love this facility. I started playing tennis at age 13. I went into the gym at my prep school and hit the ball against the wall until I kept getting it back over and over and over. I play singles now and doubles and um, my goal is to be still playing singles into my 80s. People tell me I can still run very fast and I have very good reflexes uh, but I'm very steady. A lot of people call me a backboard so I get the ball back all the time. Sometimes my opponents think they've won a point and the ball comes back at them. I am trying to work on drop shots and I'm trying to work uh, more on my singles game. Most of the time I play doubles down here, but I enter USTA tournaments in 60 singles. I have one coming up starting Monday in St. Petersburg. It's a USTA tournament. I think it's a senior, super senior Grand Prix. These super senior Grand Prix tournaments, I played one at University Park a few weeks ago, and I enter in 60 singles. I believe it starts at 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and it goes all the way up to 90. There's amazing uh, older players that play these, um, uh, these tournaments. They're experienced, they're smart players. I go into these tournaments because I want to be challenged by some of the best single players around the country on the senior circuit. And um, I often win a few games here and there. I don't usually win the matches, but I want to be challenged. So as far as how I'll do in, uh, in St. Petersburg, I'm going to do my best, and I'm never going to give up on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball and move your feet. And be ready. Those are the best tips I've been given. I just got this bag today. My girlfriend bought this for me for my birthday. I just turned 64 on February 19th. Last year, I was in Who's Who Top 10. As a matter of fact, Dave Sparks named me number one in, who, in uh, Boss for last year for the number of times I played and the number of wins. This was also for a spring league, and I was on the championship team in the spring league uh, K uh, team. Each of the pros at the club has a team, and John Moracek has a team. And I played as a sub on a few teams, and I was on the winning team. It was a lot of fun, and it's the best players in the club. I like uh, Rafa Nadal. Uh, he's fast. Uh, he has a good attitude. And he will never give up on a ball. And that's kind of the way I play. I will never, ever give up on a ball. There's a number of good things about tennis. Uh, number one, it's a lifelong sport. Number two, it's the camaraderie and the social connections that you can make playing tennis. Um, I'm talking about singles, doubles, mixed doubles, uh, the pros that you meet. Uh, we have a morning group that I play with. It's called the Egan Academy. There's 60 to 70 different players that uh, a fellow Richard Egan manages and he reserves courts for us at 7.30 and 9 o'clock. He's been doing this for five, six years, and we have a wonderful camaraderie in that group. Last year, I showed you that tag earlier of the Spring League that happens in May, and it's really an inner club. The best players in the club play in that tournament. Um, I did very well in that. I, uh, I won a few singles, and I won a couple of doubles, and I got a lot of respect, and a lot of people looked to me and said, gee, you really can play this game. And it really changed my tennis life around here on Longboat Key. I still play with my regular morning group, but I'm playing with a wide variety of level of players. For instance, we now have a singles group that meets on Mondays at 2 o'clock. And these are some really good singles players, and we give each other a great challenge. So that was probably my high point here at the Longboat Key Tennis Center. And again, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to have this type of center in a town where I live six to seven months a year. I think people will tell themselves, geez, I can't, I could never play that game. And I think they're wrong. I think everyone can play tennis. The real key is to take lessons and get into clinics and to practice, practice, practice. And to find people at your level or slightly above so your game will improve.
I come from Boston. Recently we moved from Boston and we sold our place in Boston and bought a small house in Nantucket. So I'm already trying to make contacts in Nantucket for this upcoming summer because we'll probably be up there May through October and I've made a few contacts already of people I've met down here. Uh, there's also a pro down at uh, uh, Boca Grande uh, on Gasparilla who lives on Nantucket in the summer and I've talked to her and I've met a couple other players. So I will play up north but I never play as much as I do down here. Uh, I, I love it down here. This is tennis heaven on this island.